What's up YouTube? It's Chris from Out West with Chris. As a lot of you know, I went to North Carolina a couple weeks ago and did some fishing with some really cool guys. And along the way, I, I learned quite a bit from both Thomas and Steve. And one of the things that I learned was how to prep crab for bait. And it might sound weird, but I've actually never done anything like that before. Um, so, you know, it was it was cool to learn something new like that. And me, as a fisherman, I'm always trying to learn something new, a new technique, a new species, pretty much anything new that I can learn to make me a better fisherman or a more well-rounded fisherman. So I learned it, and here it is. Your personal best blue crab is a lot bigger. Holy crap! Click in and see. I'm spitting. Oh, now, ouch. Get off me. <laughs> Alright, now here's, here's what you gotta do. Alright, so I'm gonna hand the crab to you. I'm gonna take the camera. Okay. Alright. You gotta turn around and hold him just like me. Yeah. Then you're gonna grab his pinchers. <laughs> okay. You're gonna grab that pincher, put it all the way back. So you're gonna break both of the pincher legs off. Okay. Okay. So you gotta grab him from behind. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Okay. Now he's he's trying to get you from underneath, but he probably can't reach you. But make sure your fingers are back as far as possible. Okay. So grab it's still it. recording. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Okay, I, didn't, I lost my screen back here. Okay. okay, now, you're going to reach here with that hand. Pull, get it on, pull it on back. Get it out of the Snap way. Huh? Snap it? No, just get it out of the way first. Just go ahead and reach it. Like like up in here if you can get it. And then just... No, he won't. If he does, if he does it's going to be great video. If he gets you, it's going to be awesome. All right, now pull it out. Go ahead, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. All right, now, now, you don't have to worry. Now pull it all the way back towards you and break it off. Pull it hard. Twist it, whatever you got to do. Whoa, there you go. Woo! He let that thing go. <laughs> Folks, this is the wild kingdom right here. Now you know what to do. <laughs> if you want. There you go. There you go. That was fast. He looked like Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> They're look kind of rubbery. Of course, I gotta ask you. Are we, we're still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't see this light back here. No, I can barely see it. Okay. Now, once you got all those. You are going to pry from the front. All right, flip him over. You're going to pry the knife blade under this top shell. And you're going to pull this top shell completely off. And be careful, do not cut yourself. Kind of cut away, cut away from you. And don't push too hard towards your hand. It'll slip. And just kind of pry it off like a oyster shell. seam trying to cut the, just like you're cutting tape off of a package. J you might want to jab the blade in a little deeper and you can kind of, there you go. Alright, now peel that top shell off. There you go. Alright, that's trash. That's nasty. No, leave all that. Throw away the top shell. Alright, now lay them down. 
and now I'll take the knife and cut, cut straight across. Hard, cut through that bottom shell. Cut, pull this little junk piece off since it's hanging. All right, there's there's redfish bait right there. Now maybe cut that corner off right there, the shell corner. And now you've got two big chunks of redfish bait. Serious? Give it up. Woo! Did it? That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do it right? I was under. It looked like that. Right?